Hello, everyone. I'm Melissa Budzinski from Gilda's Club Grand Rapids, and I have with me Tracy Whiting. So good to see you, Tracy, and your beautiful smile. Thank you. <laughs> We're so here. <laughs> oh, good. We're so happy that you're all here with us on this um, on our virtual clubhouse via Facebook Live today. We um, have a great program for you, another book and activity. Um, we're so glad that we can be together and um, doing this connecting still while we're at the, our stay at home. Well, I guess the stay at home order is gone, but while we're still socially distancing. Right now the clubhouse is open virtually, but the physical clubhouse is still currently closed, but we're available by phone or by Zoom um, or email, you can just let us know if you wanna to talk to us, which reminds me if you're out there watching and you're with us, please let us know. Make a comment uh, or say hello in the comment section right under this post. And um, we'd love to hear from you and we'd love to see if you do the craft that we do or if you read the book or like the book, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. We really would. Yeah. Yes. But today we're going to talk about our feelings inside and out. And especially during a cancer or grief journey, oftentimes we have a lot more feelings than we did before those things have happened in our life. And then right now, our country is really going through, and the world is really going through a lot. Don't you think, Tracy? I really do. Yeah. yeah. And so there's a lot of extra feelings going on. Um, you know, some, I have some feelings of grief and some sometimes fear and confusion and then elation. Like I'm really excited that we're getting to new places and things are happening. Um, and, and so I'm kind of all over the place sometimes. How about you, Miss Tracy? Yes, sometimes I am all over the place. <laughs> More yeah. times than not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we're going to talk about honoring that, honoring the fact that Part of being human is having feelings. Mm -hmm. it, it's the way that we're made. And uh, so we'll read a great book by Jamie Lee Curtis um, called Today I Feel Silly, which I have to admit most days I feel a little bit silly, you know. <laughs> I think maybe you do too, Miss Tracy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it helps me feel better. Anyway, and, um, and then we'll do the craft. So um, with that, I'm going to hand it over to you. Thank you. As she mentioned, the book is Today I Feel Silly by Jamie Lee Curtis and Laura Cornell. It's a really good book and I hope you enjoy it as we go along. And it was dedicated to um, Jamie Lee's sister, Glenda. It starts off, today I feel silly. Mom says it's the heat. I put rouge on the cat, gloves on my feet. I ate noodles for breakfast and pancakes at night. I dressed like a star and was quite a sight. Today my mood's bad. I feel grumpy and mean. I, pick, I picked up my room, it still isn't clean. I forgot to feed Franny and the water and water the fern and the cocoa I'm making is starting to burn. Man, that's enough to make you a little grumpy. Today I'm angry. You better stay clear. My face is all pinched and red to the ear. My friend's hand, my friends had a hand play, excuse me, my friends had a play date. They left me out. My feelings are hurt. I want to shout. Ah! So <laughs> Today I'm joyful. My mood is first rate. My friend's sleeping over. She said she can't wait. My freckles are popping. The sun is so bright. I ran in the relay with all of my might. And it looks like she's winning. Today I 
today I'm confused. My life's getting hairy. Sam says he's my boyfriend, but he also likes Mary. My mom told my father he might be a dad. I might get a brother. I'm not sure I'm glad. Sharing the love. Excuse me. Today I'm quiet. My mom understands. She gave me two ice creams and then we held hands. We went to the movies and then had a bite. I cried just a little and then felt all right. Sometimes crying is just what we need. Today I'm excited. There's so much to do. I'm going to sell cookies and lemonade too. I'm starting a club to go clean up the park. And I've got all the big crush on my teacher named Mark. <laughs> Today I'm cranky, so nothing seems right. I have diarrhea and broke my new kite. My mom dyed her hair orange. My dad shaved his beard. My tooth came in crooked. The family is weird. Today I'm lonely. I feel so small. My auntie's away. I wish that she'll call. My mom's working late and my dad has to has the flu. And although I've got stuff, I've got nothing to do. Today I'm happy. I'm walking on air. I learned how to knit and French braid my hair. I did my first solo in hip hop and jazz. This day's been so great. I'm full of pizzazz. Yeah, she's full of pizzazz today. Today I'm discouraged and frustrated, see? I tried rollerblading and fell on my knee. I really want straight hair but mine's is curly. Should I cut it or grow it? Or what should I do? I think you should cut it like mine's. Today I'm so sad. My mood's heavy and gray. There's a frown on my face and it's been there all day. My best friend and I really had a big fight. She said that I tattled and I knew that she was right. Today, my mood's great. It's the absolute best. I rode a two-wheeler and passed my math test. I played soccer at recess and we won the game. I sang in the show and my parents both came. <laughs> I'd rather feel silly, excited, or glad than cranky or grumpy, discouraged or sad. But moods are just something that happen each day. Whenever I'm feeling inside is always okay. How do you feel today? The end. I feel so silly. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, I love that book. I love the way that you read it, Miss Tracy. <laughs> That's great. And I think that book is so true that Every day we can wake up and maybe have something, a different feeling, or we can wake up one way feeling happy or whatever, and then something happens during the day and it can really shift our um, feeling state from one to the other, don't you think? 
Yes, I think so. Yeah. But it's really good to have all of those feelings. That's right. And honor, it seems what I love too about that book is that she really just honors wherever she is. Mm -hmm. but whatever feeling it is she's having, whether it's silly or sad or grumpy or um, ecstatic, she, she really just leans into it and allows herself to be where she's at. Yeah. And she's talking about it through the book, right? Yes. And it yeah. was a really good book. Yes, that is an awesome book. I love, I love her creativity, the little girl's creativity of, you know, like when she was wearing her bathing suit on the outside of her, her yeah. shirt. <laughs> I just love the whole, and she French braided her cat's hair. <laughs> That's great. Yes. Well, thank you. Well, we're going to do um, a couple of different crafts about that. So the first one is called um, an open heart. And so all you really need is a piece of paper and you could have like a piece of paper that's just a um, recycled paper. You can use the back of that or, or you can even use the one with the words on it. You can just kind of ignore those and do it. Get a pencil, whatever color. I think I'm going to make my heart green today and just draw a heart. And it doesn't have to be perfect because our hearts aren't perfect. So you just draw a heart like that. I guess that green is a little bit hard to see, isn't it? Oh. And then, oh, there it is. Perfect. There it is. There's Miss Tracy's heart. And so you just sit for a minute and you just think, how am I feeling today? How am I feeling in my heart today? So let's just take a, a couple of minutes, Miss Tracy, and we'll color in our heart. Um, maybe three different feelings we'll pick for today. How does that sound? That sounds very good. Okay, and you can pick whatever colors. You can decide how, whatever that is, um, that, that it would represent. And you can make it, even um, the strokes, make them like your feeling. Um, so if you're feeling kind of swirly, you could make the, the stroke swirly. Are you ready, Miss Tracy? Yes. <laughs> All right. So here's, well, why don't you show us your heart first and then I'll show my heart. Okay. My heart is one color, but that doesn't mean that I feel one way. I see my little squiggly lines. I feel excited today because I'm on Facebook Live. Oh yeah. I feel um, a little anxious, because I'm on Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And I feel um, very comforted because I'm on Facebook Live with Melissa. <laughs> oh, that's so great. I love that. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. And, and I love how you expressed it with different ways that you wrote your lines. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. So I did mine in this way is that um, mine is kind of blue and a little bit dark there is, um, my heart's a little bit heavy today. Just, I've been thinking a lot about my father who died um, about five years ago. And I don't know why, but just lately I've been thinking a lot about him. So that feels um, a little bit um, heavy to me. And then swirly and fun and kind of fluffy and purple. And I did put two colors in there, purple and blue, two of my favorites, because I'm on Facebook Live with Miss Tracy. <laughs> and it feels fun and exciting and swirly and um, just really good. And uh, I like that. And then I put orange here and I made it kind of like a firework because I am really, really excited because Hamilton is coming on 
<laughs> on Disney on Friday. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch it. So I'm really excited about that. So that's my heart today. So you can do it any way you want. And then you can do a couple of things because sometimes we have feelings that are inside our heart and sometimes the outside of our heart looks different. How we behave looks a little bit different. Like we might be feeling sad inside and we look grumpy outside. Or sometimes we're sad and excited on the inside and we look happy mm -hmm. on the outside. Um, sometimes it, it matches it. And so what you could do is you could decorate the outside of your heart on how you're feeling on the outside of yourself, on the outside um, in your behavior and what you think other people see. And then maybe things that you don't necessarily tell everybody, you would just tell people that are close to you or special to you, or you know that you can trust that's on the inside. Um, so that's one way to do that. Um, and parents, this is a really good way to just check in with your kids. And you could all sit down as a family and say, hey, we're going to do the open, art or open heart activity today. And you could just pick one feeling today. How are we feeling today? Um, and it just gives you a great touchstone and a great opportunity for conversation and openness. Um, and we encourage you as adults also, just like Tracy and I did, to be honest about where you're at um, and what's going on with you. And so then your kids also know. So it gives just, it kind of levels that playing field. Another way that you, know, you can, oh, go ahead. So you could feel a number of ways in one day. You could start yes. out feeling sad and then you can get really happy as the day goes. So it, you don't have to pick one feeling. You may have four feelings in a 24 yeah. hour period. Even in a minute period, right? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So like you and I did is we were having more than one feeling at this moment in time, mm -hmm. weren't we? Yeah. And that's okay. And they, they don't, often people think that feeling happy and sad are opposite ends of the spectrum, but really the intensity of your feelings makes them very close together mm -hmm. rather than so far apart. Yeah, that's great. Thanks for bringing that up. Good point. So I made another heart too, and you could do it this way. This is for a different activity that we're um, that we do at Gilda's Club. But what I did is I cut out or I ripped out pieces of paper and I glued them onto this heart as to how I was feeling um, right now. And that's another way that you can do that if you're a little more crafty and you have some craft things and you want to spend a little more time. You can do it that way too. So that's a, that's a cool idea too. So one other thing that I love to do, my husband and I have rocks all over our house. We love to collect rocks. They love to come home with us. So one way you could do your feelings, you can express your feelings through your rocks um, is to draw something on your rocks that um, helps you to think about um, maybe feelings that you like or the feelings that you, that you have in the moment. Um, you could even draw faces. So I have um, two of them that I have done. And one of them is a frog because often my feelings kind of jump around. <laughs> they don't necessarily stay. So they kind of jump around. And when I look at my, my frog rock, I remember, oh, this feeling isn't going to last forever, especially if it's an uncomfortable feeling for myself. Um, I'll think, oh, this isn't going to last forever. My feelings are going to jump somewhere else and that it'll be okay. And frogs are pretty resilient too, right? And yes, they yes. off and they're courageous. You ever seen a frog or a toad? They can jump and they're, they're um, in places I would never be, you know, deep in the mud and all of that. So I remember that too. So this is a good reminder for a lot of things for me about my feelings. Okay, and mine is this one. I have a number of feelings on this one. Um, the pink is for me feeling quite girly today. Um, <laughs> is 
for me feeling a little sad as to what's going on in the world today and the loss of a loved one and all the create all the differences in the white that's just showing my creativity so yeah. i'm feeling creative today that's beautiful did you paint that i did that's beautiful oh i love it miss tracy that's great thank you so i wanted to show one more too so you can use symbols too as um, ways. So this is my peace rock. And, and whenever I'm, maybe I'm upset and I'm feeling a little bit out of control and I'm not really sure how I feel and I need a minute to sort of get together, I might grab this rock and I will hold it. Mm -hmm. And I'll just hold it with me. And I, it helps me remember that I can be peaceful. I can take a minute and relax breathe and then try to figure out how I'm feeling and find a way to express that whether it be by drawing or talking or um, using one of my rocks or my heart thing however it is um, I I want to express that but to give myself that moment of okay I can just give myself some peace I can help bring that up and spend some time feeling about or feeling into what I want to do next about what I'm feeling. So yeah, does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. And you can also read a book sometimes to change your mood. You can read a happy book yeah. or you go through a photo album and look at some pictures of someone that you loved and have lost. So there's a number of ways to get out that those feelings. Yeah. So we really, that's great, Miss Tracy. We really encourage you guys to use what works for you. And we really encourage you to just honor your feelings. It's okay to have feelings. It's okay to cry. It's okay to laugh. It's okay to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Both Miss Tracy and I were a little nervous and uncomfortable about being on Facebook Live today. And it's okay to feel that way and do what we need to do anyway and challenge ourselves to move past that and to take this, this opportunity to connect with you. Um, so we encourage you to honor yourself today and honor all the feelings that you have and honor those around you yes, and yes. their feelings too. Uh, it's okay. Um, I think that's everything I have. Miss Tracy, do you think of anything else? Something else. Please join us for Camp Sparkle. It's starting next Tuesday on the 7th. It's for first and first through fifth graders, and it's going to be virtual this year. So we'll be starting something new this year. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 616. 453-8300 or go to our website. There's a lot of information there and we'll look forward to seeing you. Oh, that's great. Miss Tracy, can you tell us what what do you what kind of activities are you going to be doing? Oh, there's a number of, of activities we're going to have with chef come in and we're going to be cooking. We're going to have John Ball Park Zoo. They're going to be coming in talking about the animals and how they keep them and allow them to have their feelings in their environment. So I don't want to tell too much because I want you to come to see what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Oh, that sounds really great. I'm excited about that. Thanks for telling us. Yes. Oh, very cool. So um, that starts on the 8th, correct? Yes. And do you have to come every every day to be a part of it or if you're like if you're gone next week on vacation can you join the following week or vice versa absolutely first? you can absolutely okay. great we'd love for you to participate in all the activities but if you cannot we understand um because we want you to also have a wonderful summer with your friends and family as well as well as join us excellent well, thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. That sounds great.
All right. Well, we're so glad that you all could join us today on Facebook Live. And um, again, please let us know if you have any questions or any comments. You want to take pictures of your rocks or your heart that you made and show us. Post it right there on our comment section and uh, we'll get back to you. Again, just as Ms. Tracy said, uh, we're open virtually. We're also taking phone calls or you can email us. We'd love to hear from you, talk to you. We also are um, inviting anyone who is on a grief or cancer journey or who has someone in their life that is on a cancer journey that you're affected by, please give us a call. We have groups that are happening over Zoom right now. We also have workshops that are happening. Um, and we'd love to welcome you into our free cancer and grief support community. All you have to do is give us a call or send us an email. You can look us up at www.gildasclubgr.org or 453-8300. And that's both for Camp Sparkle and Gildas Club. Mind you, the book was Today I Feel Silly by uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. So if you want to get it, get it for the kids. And all your right. <laughs> So if, and, and look, we look forward to bringing you um, another book and activity in a couple of weeks. Next yeah. week we have, um, I think it's Miss Sheila Carroll, who's going to talk about telling our story and how important that is. So nice to see all of you. Nice to be with you. Nice to see you, Miss Tracy. Thank you. <laughs>